Hey everyone, we are back with the what sold on eBay for Wednesday. My beautiful wife Linda is here, but her eyes are swollen still from her eyeliner. Her, I should say her eye. It is eyeliner. From yeah, from eyeliner, um, and they're still swollen, and so she doesn't want to show her face. She's so also got sad. her librarian glasses on too, so <laughs> not her favorite look right now. I still think she looks wonderfully beautiful, um, but she does not think so. So. Obviously, let us know who's right in the comments. Cameron, of course. Anyways, I'll delete the other comments anyways. Um, how do we do today, babe? How many sales do we have on eBay? Uh, so today we have 15 sales for about three. People can't see you over here. 310. Okay. Yeah. So kind of a slower day. Good a dollar, good total sales, but kind of some lower dollar ones that have added up. But we'll take it. We're definitely uh, going to be blessed and not complain too much because first of all, no one wants to hear that. And second of all, got to be thankful for the things you have in life. Anything you want to say? You want to look up at the crowd? <laughs> say hello? You're just going to look down the whole time? I want them to continue to give me as like the beautiful YouTube wife. You are beautiful. Seeing and this And they all gonna, think like, that. And if they awkward. don't, they probably aren't going to say it anyways. They might. Um, and their opinion stinks if they don't think that. Those of you who might be new, we actually do talk about reselling here, even though we've been talking about, uh, you know, personal stuff. But let's get into it and go over what sold today on Wednesday. Starting off. Uh, today we have the Squishimals Hug Me's. This is Pierre the Alpaca. And he is about 18 inches tall and he sold for $17 shit. He's got a couple little marks on him. He's not in perfect shape. Uh, he was a dollar at a garage sale. Some Squishimals do well or they were doing well, but he at least went out. I think he might still barely go first class. I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah. Well, there's whole Squishimal stores in the malls now. Yeah, there's so. like people go crazy. And so there's some big ones that go for like hundreds. But yeah. definitely if you see them, take a look. You might have some money. Same with Angry Birds plush. Some of them do really well, right? Or we're doing really well, so keep an eye out. Yeah. Another item that sold for 18 well this one for $18, not 17 This is a Sunco Ninja action figure. All his um, joints move and everything. He is from 2001 and he sold for 18 shipped. He was from uh, the big He-Man and a Master Universe buy, so that was good. Or Motu, as Linda would say. This is a military liner for your field jacket. Uh, it is a small. It did sell for $25 shipped. Though. And that's from the military buy. That's the last item we couldn't find for a second, but then we luckily found it. Yes. Uh, next up we have a, is it for the whole package? Or no, just it's one? just one, but oh. I have a whole bag So a single Panasonic cordless handset with the charging base and the um, adapter, and it sold for 18 ships. And I actually bought some replacement batteries because these ones were kind of rough that were in there. So I bought them from the K-Star or whatever battery. So we've got another... I think about 12 bucks in the whole unit. I mean, in all the batteries we bought are 10 bucks or something. So each one's a couple bucks out of that. So we'll make some, we make some money, but not a ton. I wouldn't recommend buying a bunch of phones. Yeah. Some of them, there's, there's some um, little charger bases that we've sold for like 18 or 20 bucks just for the base. I remember that one day we sold like three in a row. Um, so sometimes there are some that are worth money, but don't spend a lot. Uh, this is a Seiko uh, spell checker. It's a handheld th th thesaurus. Thesaurus. And it is tested, and it did sell for, sell for $13 shipped. This was 50 cents at a garage sale. Listed it last night, and it sold right away for 12 bucks, 13 bucks. I don't know why, but I'm definitely happy with that. And I know it's weird, guys. A lot of uh, YouTubers are telling you, you know, you got to get away from the $10 sales. You got to get away from... I get excited about 50 cents into 13. I'm just weird. Um, I think that's still a good deal. It takes up no space. Shipping is easy. I'm not going to complain about that. And I believe you should pick what's available to you. Not everyone has just, you know thousands of dollars of high profit dollar items that are so easy to pick up and sell in their area so you know just adapt to what's around you what this is we... technically rated r <laughs> oh good thing we did so we didn't even show the screen huh? um I don't oh know. yeah it is i didn't realize that so this is the kehoe nation uh, devil's acres overture and it's a cd and it sold for almost 22 shipped that's from the rock and roll we do have to censor that one out yeah there's a couple of inappropriate images on there next up we've got this um Head brand men's um, touch screen running gloves, so you can still use them with your smartphone and Super stuff. Super cool. And it sold, they, the pair sold for $17. And those shipped. were a buck at a garage sale as well. Then we've got this. Is this from last night? Were you messing with this last No, night? this is a different juicer. Oh, okay. This is a Jack Leland power juicer. This is the motor base only, um, and it sold for $40 shipped, but it is 
pretty bulky. Just because of the handle. I don't know. Maybe the handle pops out. I don't know. But um, that's one of those ones where it's probably going to cost us 16 17 bucks to ship it. Most of your money on the juicer is made from the other parts, not the base. But yeah. that base was worth selling because it seemed to sell for 40 bucks regularly. Here's a really good one. This is a Believer's Bible Commentary. Um, it is a hardcover book, uh, and it did sell for $27 shipped. And that was 2 bucks at an estate sale, and that's one where some people might not get it. It's on a leather Bible or whatever, but that commentary was worth quite a bit. And then next up, we got this three-pack of vintage Super Mario figures uh, with Koopa and Luigi in there as well, and it sold for $13.50 shipped. I think those were just from a random toy buy, so yeah. I'm not sure what I have into them. Then we got a remote. Doesn't say what year it's from, but this is a Philips. This is what I bought with the unit. The, the unit didn't work. It was five bucks for the unit. Unit was broken. It wouldn't work, but I sold the remote. For $30 shipped. Good remote here. 30 bucks shipped on that guy. And this then we've the got PS4. Yeah, a PS4 game, The Last of Us Remastered. It comes with everything. Uh, doesn't look like it has the manual, but it sold for $12 shipped. Not when I listed that one last night, too. And then we've oh, got... Not this one. No, yeah, high speed. Okay. And then we've got high speed uh, mathematics workshop DVD. Uh, it is a four disc set and it is only part one. Obviously yep. you can't learn all of math in just four DVDs. You need at least two DVD sets. Yeah, and it sold for $18. That shipped. was at Salvation Army. It was 50 cents for all their DVDs. They were closing down because they were doing a remodel. So I just randomly grabbed that one and it's finally sold. We sold another one of these guys. How many do we have left? We have one left. Okay, so we got one more of these guys. This is a Disney Pirates of the Caribbean washcloth magic towel. You drop it in water and it goes shoo, and it becomes thick. How many do we have? Like five or six of them? Yeah, something and we're like down that. to like, we just sold that one for? Nine dollars shipped. And we got one left. And then our last item, which just came through. And uh, we still got about hour 15 left, so we'll see if we can get some more sales. But this is a Nintendo Wii, um, the Sims 2 Castaway game, and it sold for $12 shipped. Nice. Nice, nice. Anyways, uh, you guys didn't get to see Linda's face. You got to see my face, and it's kind of sweaty because it's 100 and something degrees outside, and we're in the garage. Our next investment will probably be for this garage is going to be an AC unit, yeah. one of those ductless ones or something along those lines or like a mini split or something. So we just got to, you know, save up some money and then we'll be able to put that in. And then Linda will be happy because she'll be working out here more. We'll with be able to get stuff done. Um, but you didn't get to see her face today. It's really not that bad, but it is that bad. You know, she's super critical. So give her some encouragement in the comments. Thank you guys so much. She'll be back possibly if something sells tonight or maybe me if she doesn't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. I'll do it by myself. And if not, we both should be back tomorrow, Thursday with what else sells. So. Thank you guys so much. Anything you want to say? Nope. Nope, that's all. All that's right. It. We'll see you guys later. Hey, everybody. We are back with a what sold on eBay. Hopefully, everyone is doing well. Today is Thursday. Thursday. Yesterday was Wednesday. You didn't see Linda's face because she made sure to look away. Today, it, the swelling has gone down quite a bit. Well, she got the glasses on to kind of detracts a little bit. I think she looks like the cutest librarian I've ever seen. You're done. Either way, uh, how do we do today, babe? Today we had 15 sales for a total of almost 545. Pretty good. I think this is probably the only big one, huh? Uh, I, I hope so. I don't think it's a lot of like high dollar items, but just a lot of good, good stuff. And our theme is parting stuff out, kitchen appliances. That is definitely present here. I can see at least three of them, right, that are from that type of item. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead, unless you want to. Okay, talk. but that's not a theme. Three out of 15. It's more of a theme than anything it's else is here. 20 percent. That's nothing. It's nothing, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's... You like how I did that math real quick, though? Did you do that beforehand so you were prepared? Yeah. I knew you were going to say three out of Okay, three. let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> this is my wife, guys. Happy wife, happy life. That's what they keep telling me. First up, we've got this Marine Corps uh, Digital Desert Camo. Oh, there's a big item down there. I forgot about that. That's why the dollar amount is so high. And this one itself was a medium regular, and it did sell for $20 ship going global shipping program. So a lot of the military stuff goes, and it's never been sent back if it's just like the camos or whatever. So there are some military items that you can't sell international, so do some research. I'm not going to go over it all. What do you have next? This is a remote from or this just, year's camp. Or message Linda on Instagram. She'll help you out. And it is a Yamaha remote control. It is tested and it sold for $25 shipped. Now, how would you test this, Linda? Well, if you're me, you're just going to start pointing it at your ah, phone. Ah, do you see anything? 
Just but anyway, you put some batteries in it and you point it at your camera lens like and this, so you should, can see it on like the yeah, selfie you mode. Yeah, see. You'll the see red a little light. light come on here, or whatever. So that's how you test it. She tried to do it one time in the video and she forgot there were no batteries in the remote, so obviously it didn't yeah. work. So we teased her a little bit. Next but up, we've got a vintage Boston Electric pencil sharpener. Made in the USA, guys, and it sold for almost twenty dollars shipped. We'll well, probably I'll throw pick that them up in a pad. Yeah, if they're a dollar, I'll pick them up. They used to do like twenty-five, thirty bucks, but they've gone down in price. Yeah. Um, this one we won't pick up, but you will pop it on the screen here. This is a one of those uh, Bolswalwick Poland potteries. This is a giant vase. It is eleven. I don't think that's eleven inches. I think that's bigger than eleven inches. I don't know. Maybe. But anyways, it sold for $85 shipped, guys. So that's going to be fun to pack. She'll probably have me pack that one. I'm going to pack it now just for the fun of it. That was part of the plan. Next, we got this Keurig drip tray. She responds really well to negative. And great <laughs> only part of the Keurig machine. And it sold for $16 shipped. Pretty good for just a little drip tray. You wouldn't think it would work that much, but hey. Look out, not all cures are the same. Look at the model, like K35, K70, K80. The model number is important when you listen to them. That one is a K90, by the way. I think it's one of the bigger units. Next up, we've got this. Uh, this is a vintage Yes Complete music book. Um, it's, it's held together binder by binder clips, which actually made it pretty easy to find because I just looked for some binder clips. I left them on there because I'm like, I'm yeah. not going to take a chance of losing these pages. Yeah, so there we go. And that did sell for $36 shipped, guys. Pretty good there. I think that's from the guys, 350 bag too. Guys. 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 And then we hey got guys. this cool thing that we almost couldn't find. Look at that. Look at a little manual for a Black & Decker shortcut to food processor. Like. Why does someone want that? I don't know. Yeah, especially when you can download these all on the internet. And it's just now. like, an, it's not like it's an expensive yeah, model food dirty. processor. So. Why did you list that? I don't know, but it paid off. How much did it sell for? <laughs> for eight and a half shipped. We'll take it. We will take it. Now. This is Cameron's. No, it's not mine. But this, this is a Build-A-Bear awesome Pokemon. Pokemon. This is Squirtle. He was always a cute looking guy. I think he used to make noise, but he might not make anymore. Oh, he does. I didn't think he worked. Sometimes he doesn't. Okay. Yeah, sometimes he doesn't work when you click it, but sometimes he does. That's because I washed him. Way to go. You can't take it out. I put that he had no sound in the listing because he wasn't working. Someone's going to get a cool thing. They're going to be work. surprised. Uh, this was a dollar at a garage sale. And he sold for $35 Now, shipped. Linda, do you remember, babe, we sold a Build-A-Bear Pokemon. Do you remember which one it was that was sold for like 150 bucks? You don't remember, do you? You watched it. You actually kind of fixed it because it had a little, some of the stuffing was coming out. I think you put a pin in there or something. You don't remember, do you? No. Do you even know who I am anymore? Yeah. It was Bulbasaur. Of course when she, it was. And we sold it. I didn't like Bulbasaur, but it sold for like that 150. Bulbasaur right there on the ground? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't remember that. Next we are up. married, and she does know who I am, even though I asked her if she didn't. So. And next up, we've got this. She's getting this old, guys. She's getting up there. Genie garage door opener. Um, it is sealed in the box right there. It's a big box. So. Just the motor. It's the motor, and it sold for $130 ship. Those of you who have been watching long enough, some of you will remember we bought all those Genie remotes and a couple yeah. different units. And we, the remotes were great. They were just, boom, 22 bucks every time a little remote would sell brand new. Good times. We sold two of the motors already. Can we use some of them, too? No, well, I gave them to your dad. Uh, we didn't yeah. use them for ours. But um, we gave him at least one, I think. And then, um, yeah, we had one left, and it finally sold. So it doesn't have the rails or anything, which I messaged the buyer and let them know that. So Next up, we've got this... Yeah. Um, Einstein Bros Bagels, uh, what is this, Tumblr yeah. mug for like hot drinks and stuff. It's pretty cute. It's got like a little nerdy design on you it. You ever heard of Einstein Bros Bagels? Nope. We had those back in Florida. Oh, well, that's probably why I didn't then. But they're good. But yeah, so this sold itself for $20 shipped. This was at $25. Someone said, well, you do $20. I paid a dollar, so I said, sure. I don't know. Go first class. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, we've got Nisa, the book. And this book sold for $8.09 shipped. I didn't want to pronounce that wrong, so I didn't continue the title. It's okay, but we'll take it for a little couple bucks there. And this is a Ninja Coffee Maker, the uh, Glass Carafe. 
These always sell the best off the ninja. I'm assuming because people just drop these and break them. So. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't get These are like the one. best part of the ninjas usually to sell this. And then, um, like, the water reservoirs don't sell that quick. No, but this one itself sold for $40 shipped. So, so. all my ninjas, guys, when I'm buying them, I'm paying 5 bucks, maybe 10 if it's a nice unit, and then I'm just parting them out. If I spend 5 and make 40 I'm okay with that. Or sell for 40 I'm okay with that. And we got this cute, uh, it's a miniature wooden hat rack, guys, for like dollhouses and stuff when people make those cute little stuff. They sell cute little furnitures. I bought them all for a buck a piece. Yeah. And, and this one itself sold for $12 shipped. So we've done okay on those. I, some of them sold like $25, for like the dressers and stuff, which was cool. Uh, this is a Walt Disney Lone Ranger coffee Tonto. mug, Tonto. And we've had that thing for like ever. So I think this was your sister's. No. I don't think so. Yeah, I think I got it from her. Really? Her stuff. I don't remember. No, that. because we had that back in the storage unit. Yeah, I think it was stuff that she was going to get rid of, and I took it from her and I listed uh, it. Well, it sold for almost $19 shipped. So, pretty good there. And then, our final item. This is a rare Victoria's Secret. It's the uh, fragrance Love Spell Night. This, if you spray this on your wife, she will love you. Proof. So, I call it a love spell. Only works at nighttime. Right? I was gonna keep that one, but I didn't really care for it. And it sold for thirty-eight dollars shipped. She has different sprays that she uses. She doesn't want any spells on her. Yeah. It's already attracted too much as it is. See what you have to put up with, guys. I'm just <laughs> I'm obnoxious. Either way, um, thank you guys so much for watching. It is super hot out here still because California is like one hundred and something degrees. We're looking forward to uh, when it cools off. And we are going to look into invest into a nice AC unit once we have some extra funds. So hopefully by next summer, if we're still here doing videos, you will see us with a nice AC unit. So it'll be Or nice if you want to buy a coffee to support our AC unit fund. Yeah, our AC unit fund. <laughs> we appreciate that. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> it gets hot out here. But it should be cooling off in the next month or so where it'll be a little bit cooler at nighttime, which will be great. Anything else you want to say? Eventually we'll be out here with jackets. Yeah, well, I won't, but I don't wear jackets. So. I don't know. The Old Farmer's Almanac said that this winter is supposed to be the coldest winter in years, guys. I hope guys. so, because I love the cold. Just be careful out there. Then I can wear some of my cold gear. You don't have cold gear. You just wear your clothes. He hates jackets. No, I, I have a couple jackets that I like. Because I bought them for you. And I like them because you did that. Anyways. If I don't like them, I'll be in That's it for right now. We've got about an hour left, so maybe we'll get some more sales, and then you'll see me tomorrow. All right, guys. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video or the next clip if she's back. Bye-bye.